Today we're going to take a look at one of the richest single points on Earth, the Blacksmith's Hole, where this one tiny spot behind a row of houses in Australia yielded an actual ton of gold. Worked in the early years of the Victorian Gold Rush, the Blacksmith's Hole was an extraordinarily rich mining claim on the junction of the Prince Regent and Canadian Leeds in Ballarat, where a mine shaft was sunk in 1853 to over 100 feet deep with unbelievable results. Known as a jeweler's shop, this remarkable claim is estimated to have yielded a ton of gold. Miners in the adjoining claims dug in upon the blacksmith's claim to get at the rich wash dirt, with one party driving right through into the blacksmith's mine shaft. This claim was worked multiple times with rich yields every time. This unbelievably rich mine shaft was situated along the present course of the Canadian Creek. And if you go there today, you can walk right by the spot where the incredible discovery was made. The blacksmith's hole is commemorated by an ornate iron signpost beside the road, which states that it was located about five chains east of the sign. If we measure that out, it indicates that the blacksmith's hole was situated along this back fence. But according to this Ballarat Deep Lead map, it was actually located further around, closer to the creek. This one little spot contained wealth of unimaginable proportions, but it wasn't alone. This whole area was alive with excitement in the early 1850s as hundreds of miners worked tirelessly to get at the riches hiding deep beneath their feet. These dotted areas indicate the extent of the old gold workings around the junction of the Prince Regent and Canadian Leeds. While the diggings here were definitely not easy work, they contained riches so extraordinary that they dazzled the world. The Geelong Advertiser and Intelligencer reported an astonishing account in 1853 regarding the workings on the Canadian and Prince Regent Leeds, where the blacksmith's hole was situated. Their account is as follows. Two gullies, the Canadian and Prince Regents, became conspicuous for enormous yields, and the Bunningyong Range was pronounced to be the richest ever opened. Gold was found by the hundredweight, and individuals amassed fortunes in a few weeks. In some of the holes, the gold lay three inches thick in small hillocks, which, until disturbed, presented the appearance of solid gold, and led to the statement, widely circulated, that a table of solid gold had been found. But if the yields be great, the difficulty of getting it is great also. It requires the constant hard labor of a large party to sink to the requisite depth, some of the holes being 140 feet deep, sunk through strata, saturated with water, and requiring to be slabbed all the way down, which involves the necessity of felling, splitting, and cartage, and entails heavy expense. This blacksmith's hole was the richest single claim of the Victorian gold rush, but what's even more amazing is that it was accompanied by so many other incredible claims, all worked on the world-renowned deep leads beneath Ballarat. Can you imagine the elation those miners must have felt when they first uncovered what they described as a table of gold shining up at them? After the back-breaking and dangerous labor they endured in sinking their shafts over 100 feet deep through layers of rock and soggy drifts, the first glimpse of that gold must have been the most welcomed sight on Earth. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, let me know by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Goldfield's Guide on YouTube.